job stability for lecturers, for lecture faculty, it, I think that's really critical. Um, our tenure density has been uh, going in the wrong direction for a very long time. Uh, and that has come at the expense of uh, a lack of willingness to commit to employees on the part of the CSU. And uh, we would like for the, uh, the faculty to be able to count on those positions so that the students can count on them. And we've lived with this two-tier, two-caste system of tenure, tenure line faculty and lecture faculty existing with different rights and different sets of responsibilities, even though they're doing the same job. Um, so I think there's some solutions we have uh, for that in this contract. The tone this time around, uh, in my mind, is excessively casual on management's part. They're being laid back and not being serious about driving the bargaining process forward makes me worry. Um, and with that said, I know that you know, no matter what happens at the bargaining table, what really ends up mattering is the activism that faculty display on the campuses. That is always what drives a contract to completion. Until management can really see that, they are not going to be particularly motivated to settle a contract with us. My message to faculty would, would be to be ready. You know, if, uh, if, the, if the future fight is anything like past fights, and so I have every reason to think it will be, uh, we will need to mobilize quickly and powerfully to combat uh, management wanting to draw this fight out um, to avoid uh, giving faculty what they need. <laughs>